Mobile Geek's coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We're just taking a look at the brand new HTC Desire A20 that just got launched a day before E4 officially starts. So this is a nice looking 5.5 inch um, 720p display. The device itself is very slim, right? This is only 7.74 millimeters and it only weighs 155 grams. We have a 30 megapixel camera on the back and we have a new 8 megapixel camera on the front, so this is definitely a selfie phone. Um, when it comes to the SOC in there, that's quite interesting because it's running on the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 6115, which is a 1.5 gigahertz um, octa-core. Well, it comes with a 1.5 gigahertz um, CPU and an additional 1 gigahertz uh, CPU. So this is the very first 64-bit um, octa-core from Qualcomm. It's going to be quite interesting to see the very first benchmarks on this. Um, let's take a quick look around this device. So over here, I would guess we will have um, slots for the SIM card and a micro SD card maybe. Uh, on the other side, we have a rocket for the volume and the power button. There's a jack for your headset. And of course, we have uh, a micro USB here on the bottom to recharge the device. Um, it also comes with these two front-facing speakers, so you're getting the boom sound. It supports 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabyte of internal storage that you can extend with a micro SD card of up to 128 gigabytes. So that's pretty cool. It comes with a um, 2,600 milliampere hour battery. So I'm quite interested to see you know, how the battery life will be. Uh, what HTC is claiming that the talk time will be up to 22 and a half hours. So it's going to be quite interesting to see you know, how it really looks like on an everyday use. It also comes with HTC Sense 6. And let's take a quick look at Android here, which version it's running. Here we go. So it's running KitKat 4.4.4. Really beautiful device, very slim, good looking. And I also have to say that I love that they're not using um, the ultra pixel camera in here, but they're going for a 30 megapixel. And of course, it also has this amazing 8 megapixel camera on the front. In terms of um, the camera software, uh, it has a couple of very interesting features. Let me see if I can show you some of them over here. Um, oh, here we go. So you can even have this kind of makeup level, which should uh, definitely help you to look a little bit better when you're doing your selfies on this phone. So definitely tons of features here. Um, we're going to look through this as soon as we're getting our review unit. So this is a very first look of the new HTC Desire A20. It's going to be the very first 64-bit Android device coming to the market. It's going to be available in September. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Mobile Geeks coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz.